two biodigesters will have to or were considered for this property so that we can link the biodigester here into the soak away here and then link this particular biodigester also into the soak away here a real quick one dream house biodigesters in this video we are going to show you how we constructed a biodigester two of them plus a soak away for a standard family house coming up right now when i spoke about two bedroom house what i meant was that two bedroom apartment two of them one is going to be at the top and one is at the down that one is completed and is ready for use but basically because there's a bigger plan for the homeowner and they are going to construct the top floor which is where i'm standing right now we thought that it's best to get two biodigesters and separate them and then do a soak away the traditional soak away just to serve the two of them we did the usual biodigester standard family size biodigester they've been designed solely and ideally for two or more bedroom houses like two toilets three toilets it can even be a one bedroom toilet yes and it still doesn't matter right so that's the, the digesters that we did we did two of them i'm not going to show you how we went about it right now obviously you know we have other videos that shows in complete step-by-step -step guide how these bio digesters work and how they were done but for this particular property we did those two bio digesters one at each side of the toilet just to serve that one so two toilets and there's going to be two same bedroom at the top i'm standing on the stairs right now recording this video just to give you a fair idea of how it was done but then the key differentiator is that the land when we did assessment we realized that the land wasn't good and it wasn't going to soak well so advice to the homeowner was obvious get a soak away done not any soak away but a traditional soak away with an option to have a overflow pipe that can be connected to a longer or bigger drainage at the other side of the area and then we were going to leave an overflow pipe so that in case there's a problem which sometimes you have to envisage when you're doing biodigesters then that can be sorted out with a clean out pipe that we are going to put on top of the soak away that can help sort out the issue of wastewater not seeping into the ground and the truth for this particular house is the land is not that good when we started digging and we went we went down we realized that it's more clay and it wasn't going to soak if the users the capacity of the users exceed a certain number of people so the advice to the homeowner is that if a worst case scenario we are looking at eight or seven people if it's more than that then the option of you having to pump the water out that's the, the wastewater out is something that you might have to consider and it also means you have to get a simple pumping system that can link directly to the overflow pipe and then you can pump the water and it can join the bigger pipe that's going into a bigger drainage so that's basically what we did for this particular biodigesters We cited one of the digesters right here and did the pipe connection by ourselves because it was going to be very close to the inlet that is coming out and this is what you can see we also provided a clean out on top just to serve as an inspection chamber in case it has to be looked out in the near future and then the key part here is also that the top one will also come and join this one if it's done in the future 
and then the idea is also to have a vent pipe or a vent outlet also at the top there just for this particular bio digester we did the connection here you can see this job just finished and then you can see the connection all the way leading here we use a three inch pipe just to have the connection done and this is the soak away this is the soak away with an overflow pipe underneath and then an inspection chamber as well for it and then the other bite digester is also here that one is here with the same mindset also we did it closer to the inlet pipe so we are going to just have to do the connection ourselves and that's what we have done the one from the top will come all the way and then be joined to it dreamhouse bio digesters go ahead and like this video you can also subscribe and be part of us you can also share the video to those who need to see it so that they can also make a fair judgment on biodegradable waste bio digest so the problem that we have had over the months and the years ever since we started doing this bio digesters were basically with the so-called pit that we were doing it do works in some places it doesn't work in some cases so the solution is to make sure that going ahead when you do a bio digester the soak away should be your ultimate concern where the wastewater is going is should be what should be on your mind it should be what you should be looking at solving if you can solve that part then you know that you are almost halfway there and then you trust the biodigester that you are doing for your house so in this case when we came here we realized the soak away is out the soco pit is not going to work and there was no immediate gutter also available here for us so it means that we have to come up with the with the option of a traditional soak away and then let the homeowner know that the cost is going to go up and uh, i mean but then there's going to be a, a good usage of it there's going to be a longer use because obviously the wastewater will have an option where you can equally or easily pump it out or you can soak by itself whenever you are ready to use this particular digester and then you use it for a long time people can use it and then they will have a peace of mind two two bedroom house top and down the top is not yet done but two bio digesters will have to or were considered for this property so that we can link the bio digester here into the soak away here and then link this particular bio digester also into the soak away here and that's what this video is about